So one of the biggest signings of this transfer window is Henrik Mikatarian going to Manchester United, joining the likes of Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Wayne Rooney and Anthony Martial. Is he worth putting in your fantasy Premier League side? Is he going to have a successful season at Old Trafford? All coming up here on JNO United. What's up guys and welcome to JNO United, bringing you the best in football news, entertainment and games. And today we're looking at the transfer of Henrik Mikatarian going to Old Trafford, going to Manchester United. Is he going to have a good impact? But before we get into that, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, where we do FPL analysis on players that have been transferred in, as well as we're doing 30 days of FPL, loads of FPL content on this channel. Make sure to smash that like button, especially if you're happy that I'm doing something about a Manchester United player. I forgot which subscriber mentioned it, but they were saying I don't mention Man United players enough. And make sure to leave in the comments down below your thoughts on Henrik Mkhitaryan's transfer to Manchester United. Now, as you know on this channel, I love my stats and stats for me are the best way of seeing what type of player a club is getting. And if they're in a good league and they're getting decent stats, then in a ideal world, it means they do the same in the Premier League. Now that isn't always a certainty, but I believe Henrik Mkhitaryan is the type of player that could have a great season in the Premier League this year. Now, there were players like Di Maria before who we all thought were gonna have a great season and that didn't really pan out, but hopefully this isn't a case like that and Henrik Mkhitaryan comes up and lights up the Premier League. Speaking of which, I actually think Dortmund have managed to strengthen themselves somehow in selling Mkhitaryan because they've now got Mario Goetze and Andre Schürrle. So that's a pretty beast attacking lineup for Dortmund, but onto Henrik Mkhitaryan. Now we all know about his transfer to Dortmund. We know that Liverpool were in the chase room as well, but he decided to go and join Dortmund. And he had a pretty good run there, especially last season, which is why I think Man United picked him up. He came into his own in that Borussia Dortmund side last year and had a really, really, really good season in the Bundesliga. In the 2015-2016 season, he had 28 appearances in total. But in those 28 appearances, he got 11 goals and 15 assists. That is a crazy return for 28 appearances. Imagine if he'd had more. His shot per game ratio was 2.6 shots per game. His key passing was 2.7 per game. And his average rating was 7.9 for the whole season. Now with those kind of stats, with over two shots per game and over two key passes a game, he is going to get you points if he can keep that record up for Manchester United. And with the likes of Zlatan Ibrahimovic on the end of them, these chances he creates should be going in. At least you'd hope so. As the god of football has joined Manchester United, you'd think he'd be able to put in chances that are put on a plate for him. The season before that wasn't as great. Uh, as far as I'm aware, it was a bit injury-prone season. He had some fitness problems. But in the 2014-2015 season, he had 21 appearances. He got three goals and four assists. Shots per game was still at 2.5 though. His key passes was a lot lower though at 1.6. And his average rating was 7.33. However, the 2013-2014 season was also a pretty good season for him. So maybe that injury prone season was just the blip. But in 2013-2014, he had 29 appearances, managed to get nine goals and 10 assists. Again, his shots per game was over two at 2.3. His key passes was at 2.9, which is incredible. And his average rating was 7.59 for the season. So my only worry with Mkhitaryan is he may need a season to get accustomed to playing for Manchester United and playing in the Premier League it's always possible that a world-class player comes to the Premier League and can't quite get used to the style of football here. But the stats are definitely there to suggest he is a potential threat to your ranking if you don't put him in your fantasy Premier League side. And the stats are also there to prove that him and Ibrahimovic may have been a great bit of business by Manchester United because last season they needed a goal threat. Their defence was decent, sometimes a bit iffy, but generally it was good. And 
all they need is really a top class striker to be considered a threat. If you look at the top sides last year, top sides were Leicester, who had Jamie Vardy. Arsenal, they get a lot of goals from other places, but Giroud was still one of the best strikers in the league. Tottenham, of course, had Harry Kane, and Manchester City had Aguero. So you need a striker that is putting the goals in the back of the net to be a threat to that top four. And I think Zlatan Ibrahimovic could do it for Manchester United, despite of his age. And with Mkhitaryan there to uh, put the ball in the box for him and set him up for some chances, it could be a great bit of business getting those two players at Old Trafford. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this player analysis. Remember to leave your comment down below on your thoughts on Henrik Mkhitaryan at Old Trafford. I've been JNO, you've been awesome, and remember, it's all about the game.